Hello, welcome to part one of the newest pond build. This is going to be a fish pond, approximately four foot deep. It's meant to be three foot deep, two foot deep, and then a foot deep. Um, unfortunately, it's another job that has been dug by somebody else. That pile of soil that came out of the hole was meant to be right up to the side of this pond as well for the cascade. Unfortunately, we're going to have to move that by hand <laughs> so it's right next to the pond, but um, it's not going to take too much doing. Because this pond's a fairly simple fish pond, we've just got a shelf around here, approximately six to nine inches deep. It's been cut out reasonably well with the digger. Uh, and then we've got a four foot hole in the middle here supposed to be three foot and then two foot and then going up to a foot but it's just kind of a, a long slope so that'll be to sort out but it's not the end of the world and then there's that big pile to shift so we'll get a video as soon as we've done that that's the side just about sorted cleaned up these uh, shelves one round the side there nice clean sharp edges We've added steps, so we've got one here, going down, one here, going down, one here, going down, and there's another one under the water here, which we're going to pump out now. Uh, we started building that heap up a little bit. All that stuff in the front of the heap came out of the hole. That should have really come out whilst it was being dug. It just shows you how much more stuff should have come out. We've still got the heap to sort out, and the bottom of the pond to pump out. To get that done, we'll stick the underlay in. That's it, pretty much pumped out now. There's a little bit of water still in the bottom, but it'll be right. You can see the extra two shelves that we had submerged before. It doesn't really need those shelves in, I suppose, but it just gives you somewhere flat to put lilies. So if you buy lilies from the shop, they generally need to be stepped down, so you'd, you'd maybe put them here when you first bought them, leave them a week, step them down, step them down then finally put them in the bottom you know after four or five weeks so that's the hole ready and now we're going to put the underlay in That's the underlay in now, even though it's windy, it's staying buttoned down in position. We've fused all the parts of underlay together with the heat gun and put weights around the edges, stop the wind getting underneath and lifting it all out like a parachute. This is the liner, it's one mil thick rubber and we're just going to roll that down into the pond, long ways on and then open it out. That's the liner draped loosely in the hole there. Now all we've got to do is chuck the hose in, start it filling up, and as it's filling up, we're going to shift this 
muck pile to where it should be. See the steps here? Bang, bang, bang. As the water fills, we'll go around and we'll pull the sides and so on and get the folds where they want to go, but it's really something that has to be done as it's filling up. There's no point going in there, try to make everything look neat now because the water will push it wherever it wants to go. We've got the water going in here from the hose and I've just been in kind of putting the folds where the, I think they want to go and then once the water comes up it'll press those folds into the side and they should be pretty much unnoticeable. Pond's just about full now, perhaps four to six inches before it reaches the shelf. I want to keep the shelf dry because I'm going to cement these stones on around this shelf, possibly later today. This is the cascade dug out of the soil pile. Basically just made various steps at different angles. Cut back into the existing soil here just to take the liner from the pond so then the cascade liner will lap over that. The important thing to note is the height of these sides the, hei the height of these sides is much higher than where the water is going to be. Notice that both sides way higher than where the water is going to be. So you're going to have your water coming over here over here. The liner will go right up these sides and even with a bit of splashing there's no way the water can leak. This is it looking down. Water's going to come over here, drop, turn 45 degrees, drop down a series of steps back to the shallow end of the pond. Quite important that it's going to the shallow end, this end, because your deep water here, in the winter, that's where your fish are going to hibernate, so they're going to be reasonably warm in that deep bit. If your pump's in here, it pumps the warm water out, chills it, and it freezes the pond, knackers the fish. So in the winter, instead of the pump being down here, they can move the pump into the shallow end and just circulate clean water, keep the filter alive, and most importantly, keep the fish alive as well.